Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to do a deck profile on my new uh, Star Vader Link Joker deck. So this deck features my favorite Link Joker, Vanguard, uh, since Link Joker's debuted. Um, so we'll get into that in a second. But a lot of decks that I've seen so far, up until set 17 comes out, I've seen a lot of people uh, make Star Vader, Garnet Star Dragon, the, the Legion from the Trial deck, Will of a Lock Dragon, uh, Trial deck 17, with Star Vader, Chaos Breaker Dragon. That's one way to go about building the deck. I don't like that style of play. Um, I don't think it's really necessary. Chaos Breaker Dragon with Infinite Zero Dragon is really the way to go uh, in terms of making sure you lock the opponent's stuff and then when you use Chaos Breaker Dragon, the turn you're able to lock their stuff, it sets it up correctly for Chaos Breaker's uh, Limit Break to go off. Whereas with Garnet Star, if you open up with Garnet Star and then you go Chaos Breaker later on, you're not really gaining anything because their stuff gets unlocked uh, on their end phase. Uh, and then when it's your turn, you ride Chaos Breaker and you're starting from zero. So I don't really think these cards are meant to be run together. At least from playtesting the deck, uh, I think there's a much better choice and there's a much better build available right now uh, with when it comes to building Star Vader, Link Joker style decks. Um, the other Link Joker deck, the alternative would be to go Deletors. Deletors is another one that I'll be doing in the future. So this is my Deletor deck. Um, that one, stay tuned for that. But that's that's completely different. So for Link Joker, for Star Vaders, the new one, the best build that I've come up with is really the Legion combined with my favorite Link Joker unit of all time, Star Vader Nebula Lord Dragon. So he is my favorite one. A lot of people, I remember people would always talk down about him saying he's bad. He's not good. He's kind of blessed to lock a rear guard. Uh, well, it just so happens that the trial deck came out with the support that Nebula Lord had really been waiting for. It makes this combination, Nebula and Garnet Star, is just a much better combination. Um, his limit break in late game, powering up everything. Uh, the fact that uh, there's a certain card that makes this card effect go off so much better than the way it used to run. Um, so I think this is the way to go. I've been playing Star Vaders like this, and it works a lot better than when I ran uh, Chaos Breaker with uh, Legion. So I like this more. It's also the aggressive. This is the aggressive Link Joker edition, whereas Chaos Breaker is the defensive style. So I think just mixing these two together is just a much better option. So this is the great three lineup for Star Vader Legion, at least for now, before Blazing Perdition comes out. And the card that makes Nebula Lord amazing is the Legion Mate for Garnet Star. Companion Star Vader Photon. When he's placed on R, if you have a Star Vader Vanguard, the opponent has a locked card, lock something. So, how he helps Nebula, Nebula locks the Vanguard booster most of the time, or a rear guard behind a front line, and then Photon gets called to the field and he locks the front row. So, right there, that's two locks with limit break, that's plus 6k to the whole front row. It's just really good. Um, that's the reason why I feel like if you're going to play Star Vaders right now, the best way to go is, and you don't want to use Break Ride, because Infinite Zero is really good, um, but I think Infinite Zero and Chaos Breaker are meant to run in the same deck, and uh, Nebula and Garnet Star work real well together, at least because the Legion Mate complements Nebula's Limit Break so well. So, four Photon, and then four Radon, 12k, uh, that claw thing, the Star Vader claw that used to run in Nebula, isn't really necessary from what I found. Uh, you can run it if you want, but I, instead I opted to run three Singularity Sniper. Singularity Sniper is kind of like a Silent Tom type of card. It's kind of like a troll card. Uh, if the attack hits the Vanguard, you get to lock one of your opponent's cards. So this, combined with, with uh, Limit Break, makes the deck deadlier. It applies more pressure. Um... So I just think it's really good, and it's another way to lock things without having to rely on counterblasting to lock. And it's another rear guard, besides Photon, that technically enables you to lock something. And it can lock front or back row, so it, it works. So that's the grade twos, grade one. Uh, of course, we're running four perfect guards right now, Prometheum. Uh, they, I believe they are going to get a quintet wall, um, so it'll probably change to three perfect guard and uh, one quintet wall. Uh, if you really want to run the Quintet Wall right now, you can. You can just tech in, like, any random uh, new Quintet Wall, like this. So, it's available already, but uh, I would just hold out until that one's available. So, anyway, four Perfect Guard. And then three of the 8K Vanilla. 
The AK Vanilla is important in here. The reason why I'm playing this is because of Singularity Sniper. This way, this together without relying on the limit break is a 16k column. Um, and it's it's good when you have Garnet Star as the Legion. He does his skill, he locks front and back, and then Singularity is in the other lane swinging for 16 to try to attempt to lock something else. So that this is another way to triangle lock, so it's still pretty good. Um, so three of those just to make Singularity Sniper hit the right numbers. And then three, Lanthem. Uh, when you Legion, it's a good card to gain power that turn, or even with Nebula's Limit Break, it's even more deadly. So, uh, three Lanthem. And then three Palladium. I just threw him in, I teched him in technically, don't really need to run him. You can just run uh, like four Lanthem and four of the 8k Vanilla. But I just threw him in here just in case I get in a situation where I want to uh, shut off one of the opponent's lanes or like one of their columns for another turn uh, and then going in with Nebula on the following turn if I ride him or if I'm re-legioning uh, the deck triangle lock so uh, he's just a good extra card to have to rely on if you need to so three of him and then one of uh, Ruthenium this is Star Vader's 10k or 11k or this is Nebula Lord's 11k booster uh, and it's all it is is Soul Blast 1 so it's good when, like, I'm surprised how many times uh, this makes the number, the if, if Nebula's Vanguard is behind him, it's an amazing column. But also, if Nebula's on rearguard circle, this guy can still boost him as a rearguard for a 22,000 column without his limit break. So it still generates a, a lot of pressure. Uh, and it also soul blasts one, so it helps use up soul to help set up for legion or re-legion or whatever. So it, one card is good. Helps it. It helps the deck gain the same ability that like Chaos Breaker runs with his personal booster. Um, so the grade zeros is just four draw and eight critical. You don't really need six draw in an aggressive deck like this. I think eight critical is better. Uh, it's also better defensive wise for blocking purposes against cards like Yggdrasil. So yeah, the, I think that's just the best lineup. You could also attempt to run. If you want to run stands, you got to take the draws out. So I wouldn't really run stands in here, even though it doesn't really hurt a whole lot to run the stands. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, and then four of the heal trigger. And the star, I'm still running Dust Tail Unicorn. Uh, mainly because he's another card that can lock something. Uh, I still feel like he's the best starter for Link Joker decks, or at least for Star Vaders. Although the Trial Deck card is pretty good also. So you can try it out if you want, but I think that the Dust Tail Unicorn is still really good. So that was basically it um, for just basic field setup. Ideally, you want a lane like this. You might have a Lantham here. You might have this over here. Uh, and Nebula would be over here. And either Nebula is going to be here or Garnet Star with his Legion is going to be over here. So you do something. If you're Legioning, you can do a setup like that. Uh, or, or, like, if you want, you can most of the time... The starter will I won't really use it unless I ride Nebula first. So um, this right here, you, they're gonna have two lock things. You can lock a third, but at that point I wouldn't I wouldn't really advise you needing to do that unless you really want to. You can uh, because Singularity Sniper can already uh, force them to try to like use that intercept up or something. So it's it's up to you. Most of the time I lock the the card behind a rear guard and then the, one of the rear guards uh, but if you want to lock the vanguard booster you can most of the time locking vanguard legion boosters is really kind of doesn't really do a whole lot so anyway guys that's one setup the other setup would obviously be the nebula so nebula and then photon locks the front row if you have limit break you can go go ahead and triangle lock them call this down and go from there so anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the deck profile on my Star Vaders. I'll be doing uh, the leaders next. And let me know in the comments. I really, right now, currently, I really like Photon and Nebula together. Because that just makes his deck, it, it's a card that he needed, really, to make it, his effect a lot better. So anyway, let me know what you think of the deck that I came up with. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.